please permit me to stand on the already established protocols. I bring you warm greetings from the Ghana Journalist Association in particular and the Inki Fraternity in Ghana. And as the president of the Ghana Journalist Association, I'm pleased to participate in the launch of this year's National Cyber Security Awareness Month as part of effort to raise awareness about cyber crimes and enhance our nation's cyber security practices. I must state that this year's team promoting a culture of digital safety is extremely important due to the increasing rate of cyber attacks across Africa, which hinders digital development. We all acknowledge that the digitization and digitalization are propelling the world's rapid development. However, the complete impact of digitization cannot be realized if life, businesses, and investment are not protected by corresponding data or digital protection measures. I have just read, I've just read a frightening and alarming report on cybermagazine.com stating that cyber attacks continue to rise in Africa because nearly 90% of businesses lack cyber security measures. Cyber attacks on African businesses are escalating at an alarming rate, making cyber security a top priority for countries and companies. According to additional reports, as of February 2023, approximately 90% of African businesses lacked cyber security protocols, making them increasingly vulnerable to cyber threats such as hacking, phishing, and malware attacks. In March 2023 alone, worldwide cyber attacks compromised 41.9 million records. Even more frightening is the fact that our continent confronts a growing 100,000 percent shortage of certified cyber security professionals, according to the report. I applaud the Cyber Security Authority for initiating the annual National Cyber Security Awareness Month for this purpose. We believe this initiative will educate Ghanaians on the significance of digital security. It is essential to emphasize that cyber security is a shared responsibility and that everyone plays a role in fostering a cyber security culture. Cyber security affects everyone, you and I, including the media. Therefore, individual accountability is essential for combating this threat. This is why the GJA gives National Cyber Security Awareness Month so much importance. Last year, the media was actively involved in the event awareness raising efforts. I want to reassure you that our participation and media support for this year's Cyber Security Awareness Month will be even greater because media platforms are a primary target for hackers who wish to disseminate information to the general public. A critical case in point is when the pro-Ukrainian group took over a Russian channel by hacking to broadcast messages that oppose the criminal actions. It is also worth noting that news outlets are frequently targeted by politically motivated actors who, who aim to disrupt or compromise the content and its distribution. So as media owners and as media practitioners, you jettison cyber security issues at your own risk. This fact and several other examples should be a clear call to all of us to view cyber security as a multi-sectoral challenge and confront it with a multi-sectoral approach. We are all development partners, so we need mutual support for the country's accelerated growth. We will encourage our members to offer the Cyber Security Authority media spaces for its cyber security awareness campaign. We will also urge the Cyber Security Authority, DG, 
to hold various sensitization workshops and seminars for the media on cyber security. On that note, I would like to thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you.